a second. Hey, welcome to Lighthouse this morning. My name is Josh. I am the student pastor here. Uh, if you got a bulletin this morning on your way in, if you would pull that out. Is that Sheldon Stark? Back from her senior trip. Y'all welcome back, Sheldon. She made it home in one piece. Sorry, it's the first time I saw her. Hey, if it's your first time at Lighthouse, I just want to say welcome. You are in an incredible, incredible church this morning. You have really, really great people in it. That's you guys. Y'all can celebrate yourselves. That's you. They don't even believe it. Hey, if you have your bulletin on the bottom of it, it says connection card. And whether it's your first time or your thousandth time, it doesn't matter. If you'll fill that out so I have a record of your visit, um, with any, put any prayer requests or comments or concerns on the back of that card uh, and just drop it in the offering plate when it comes by here in just a moment. Um, that would be great. If it is your first time, though, uh, if you'll go by the information booth outside uh, here in the foyer, we have a gift for you. We would love, love, love to connect with you this morning. Um, just a few announcements this morning if the ushers want to go ahead and come. Uh, Kids Camp will be leaving uh, at 1 p.m. Thursday on the 13th. So we need to be praying for Krista. Krista, how many do you have going? This week, Krista has 13, and this is the young ones, right? So this is ages, ages 5 to 7. So Krista is taking 13 5 to 7-year-olds to camp. So please be praying for our children's pastor and the leaders that are going down there. I got to go on that trip one time, and I, they've never asked me to go back. I don't... I don't understand why. Um, I don't mind either not going. So, um, But please make sure, we're leaving at once, so make sure that your child has eaten lunch before you drop them off. And then please make sure the balance has been paid. So if it hasn't, see Krista after service and go ahead and get that taken care of. Also, next Sunday morning is Father's Day. Um, that's the 16th. And so the church is having a breakfast for all the men, not just fathers, all the men in the house next Sunday morning at 8.30. Uh, if you could come to that, we would love to have you, love to serve you breakfast. Uh, there's a sign-up sheet outside. If you'll just jot your name down, we're not going to call and bug you or anything like that. You don't need to bring anything. We just need to know how many people we're preparing for. So next Sunday, men, uh, if you could be here at 8.30, we would love to have breakfast with you. Also, um, the candle fundraiser is over. You can overlook that. But the photo fundraiser is going strong. So we need, uh, what we're doing is a one-hour professional photography session with Miss Carrie Lynn Finn. Um, so if, that's Trace's wife, by the way. Uh, so if you would like to have your family photos done, they're doing, she's doing it at an extremely, extremely discounted price. $50 for one-hour session. All the money goes to 12 and you get a CD full of edited photos from your shoot wherever you guys have decided to do that at. So please make sure you schedule that with Miss Carrie so she can get you down on her book. And then the last one, and we'll be done, just to note, Vacation Bible School is coming up July 8th through the 10th. So we're getting close, but just so you guys know, we do have it scheduled July 8th through the 10th, and we have some more information coming. Amen? Amen. Um, we're going to go ahead and take up our regular tithe and offering this morning. If you came prepared to give, we want to give you an opportunity to do that this morning. Pastor Justin is out this morning. Him and Kara and the boys are visiting some family, so you're stuck with me this morning. Amen? Y'all are excited about it. I can feel it. Y'all are pumped about this. Me too. It's going to be good. Um, really excited to be in the series that we're in. Um, it's weird. I grew up in the, the other churches here in town, grew up in Bowie most of my life, um, never felt anything like I felt until I walked into Lighthouse. And I didn't know what it was at the time, um, but found out really quickly through Pastor Justin and the leadership of the church that what I'd been missing my whole life was the power of the Holy Spirit. So I, it, it's very quickly turned into one of my favorite subjects to preach on, um, one that I still learn about every single week. I, it feels like uh, anytime you open your Bible, there's something new that God's teaching you about the leading and the power of the Holy Spirit. So um, it was really unusual for that me to start preaching on that topic, but it's something that I just crave more information for, and I, I want everything that God has for me. And the Holy Spirit's part of it. We, we say we believe in the Trinity, but so many times we're only taking two parts out of it. We're not living in the full power and with the full potential that God has called us to. So I'm excited about the word that God has for us this morning. Um, so 
We're going to go ahead and take up the offering and move back into a time of worship. Um, if you came prepared to give, we want to let you do that this morning. Father, we just ask right now that you would bless this offering. God, as we enter back into your presence in worship, God, that your spirit would fall on this place. God, that as this church strives to be spirit-led, Father, that we would do just that this morning, that we would be spirit-led. God, that we would feel your presence. God, hear your still, small voice. God, whatever your whatever level you're taking us to this morning, Father, we're ready. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. God, I ask that you bless this offering. Use it for your honor and your glory. And everybody said, amen. amen. God bless you as you give.
Let the sons and the daughters see I'm surrendering my all To you, O oh Lord I surrender to my King One more time, sing everything Jesus
sing it. Oh, to be like you. Oh, to be like you. Give all I have just to know. Jesus, there's no one besides you. Forever the hope. In my heart. Come on, let's begin to worship him. Forget about the person next to you. Forget about what we're going to do after church. Jesus, we focus on you. In my heart. In my heart. The hope. The hope. about our relationship with Jesus it's, it's a it's a cause and effect based relationship be, because of the scandal of grace because Jesus died for our sins we're able to stand here this morning with an eternal hope because of grace the ultimate portrayal of grace as we stand filthy and covered in sin and Jesus spotless, blameless, sinless is led off to die in our place. We have hope this morning. Because Jesus loved us. Because Jesus loves you. What's, what's your personal effect that you can put back into that place? Jesus, because you loved me, more than anyone else has ever loved me or ever will love me. Jesus, because of what you've done in my life, this is what I'm going to do. Have you made an effect in your life? Jesus, because you died in my place. Jesus, because of the ultimate sacrifice, because of the price you paid. Jesus, because of what you did, I will serve you. Jesus, because of what you did, I will worship you. Jesus, because of what you did, I'll lay down my life and I'll lay down my wants and I'll lay down my desires and I lay down my family. I lay it all down to you because of what you did. I lay everything down in complete surrender to you this morning. Have you made that decision in your life? Have you made that choice? Jesus, because you did, I will. How would you just worship him where you're at? Jesus, we're thankful. God, we're so thankful for what you've done in our lives and for sending the ultimate sacrifice. Come on, lift your voices, church. Love on him for a minute this morning. Because he did, you will. Because he died in your place, would you love on him for a minute? Jesus. The Bible tells us that if we don't cry out, the rocks will. 
If we don't cry out, the rocks will. Will you be out worshipped by an inanimate object this morning? Jesus, we love you in this place. Oh, he inhabits the praises of his people this morning. Jesus, you are worthy. God, you are worthy. Father, you are holy, and we are thankful for your presence in this place. God, would you move in this place this morning? Holy Spirit, you're welcome. God, I just ask that you would guide us through the rest of this service, that we would truly be spirit-led this morning. God, that you would take us to where you need us to be. That our hearts, our minds would all be set on you this morning and what you have in store for us, God. Father, have your way in this service. God, have your way in every need represented in this place this morning. God, we bind everything that's not of you this morning. Depression leaves in the name of Jesus in this place this morning. The thought of suicide leaves in the name of Jesus this morning. There's no place in this building, no place in God's presence. It's not from Him. God, we ask that you would move in here. Father, Anoint me over the next couple of moments to teach and preach your word, Father God, to help me deliver your message to, to the best of my abilities, God. I pray that our hearts and minds would be open, whether, we, whether we've been operating in the power of the Holy Spirit for the last 50 years or whether this is a whole new concept, God, I pray we would approach it with a fresh mind this morning. God, that we would grab something that we've missed over the years or haven't found yet, Father. Lead us to where we need to be. Have your way in Jesus' name. Anybody love him this morning? Oh, come on. Anybody love him this morning? His presence is good this morning. Would y'all do me a favor? Take just a second. High five a couple of people. Hug some necks. Take just a second. Don't run far or you'll lose your seat this morning. find a seat this morning. You guys look good. Hey, would y'all give the worship team a hand this morning? <laughs> 